Hello, my dearest friends, my beautiful co-creator souls of love and light. This is Nanari, Princess of the Sea, coming to you with a new video. I have been asked by many recently who are struggling with how do we get out of the system? How do we be free? How do we get out of the enslavement that we are obviously in. The first answer that I have to that is change your perception. Change your thoughts. What if instead of seeing yourself as enslaved, seeing, feeling, being, love, and seeing yourself free already? Now, from a logistical standpoint, yeah. If you look at the quote unquote shadow side or dark side or bad side, um, you could say that we all are slaves. We are slaves to a monetary system, to a government, to rules, to uh, regulations that are not who we really are. And I agree with you because we are. To step into a multi-dimensional way of being, though, in opening up your spiritual gifts, is to understand that the way to get out of freedom in practical steps first is to change your thoughts, to come from the heart, to be love, to be passion, to be bliss, to be compassion, all of the qualities of the heart, of the soul. It starts from within first. Then there's practical steps of how you can become as free from the government as possible. You can go off grid. You can grow your own food. And if you um, do not have enough food yet, in your growing and you're just starting out, support local businesses, support local farms, local produce. Non-GMO, GMO-free, healthy, raw, organic foods. You know, a place that I used to live in once um, quite a few years ago um, actually had um, something, and I've talked about this before in previous videos and also on the air. Um, we had in the center of our town just this um, wooden shaped, it almost looked like a box, but it was kind of like a box, but um, kind of like a wooden shaped um, uh, bus stop, <laughs> if you will, but it was a food stop. And people would grow locally in the area, in the town, food. And when they had an overabundance of food, they would bring it to this wooden shelf, basically, that kind of looked like a, a stand or whatever, and they would just put it there. And then other people who were hungry and who really needed the food or wanted to trade some food, let's say maybe you had an abundance of tomatoes and you really needed zucchini. So you went to the stand, if you will, and you dropped off all your tomatoes and you took what you needed for you and your family of zucchini. So these are practical ways that we can do community-wise as well as individually to get away from the system. Now in the States, in Ithaca, New York, they have their own monetary system. And it's based upon, um, I think it's uh, hours of work or service uh, for it to in exchange for a piece of paper or something of that nature. I'm not quite sure how it works. But if you go Google Ithaca, New York and their monetary system, they have a whole website on that. Michael Tellinger right now is um, spearheading something called the Mbutu movement. And he is attempting to get us to a place on a global level, starting with uh, Africa, to where we have no money at all, where we simply give to give. Because there is a world where love for each other is why all things are done, where we simply give of our gifts and we exchange those gifts and there's no value placed upon it. And that's what we're working towards. That is our ideal. 
Yet there are practical steps that we can do in the meantime. In any way that you can go off grid by doing solar energy or you know some other form of alternative energy, that's an alternative to bridge that gap. The growing of the food is an alternative. Supporting local farmers and local organic food is an alternative. If you can, depending on where you live and you're able to walk or bike to work, that's more environmentally friendly. If you can carpool, that's more environmentally friendly. How do we get off the monetary system? Right now, because we do not have Mbutu in full action on this globe, or we do not have um, things like Ithaca in full action on this globe, in this planet, we can do other things. When we can, we can barter and trade. Now, I often get asked this, well, how does that put food on my table? How, how do I pay my bills? You know, I have rent to pay. I have, you know, I have to work. And yes, you do. And part of this bridging of the gap has to do with living your purpose, living your passion. For yes, you would still have the monetary value placed upon your passion. But as I said in my last video about awakening and the awakening and what it is and awakening to who we really are, living our passion and our purpose, that's when the money comes to you and the people come to you when you are giving in service. Monetary abundance and abundance in general in life begins with giving. Many people think that, oh, we have to hoard and, you know, hold all this stuff and store all this stuff. When you hoard anything and you store anything, you're withholding love in some form or fashion. When you withhold love from a loved one, when you withhold a hug, when you're storing food, storing money, storing resources, all of that is some form of withholding love. And so when we open our heart and we give, that's when abundance comes to us. And so I often get the question, well, okay, great. You say live your life purpose and you live your soul purpose and be in your passion, but I don't know what that is. Well, if you don't know what that is, I invite you to take some time in meditation, to take some deep breaths and to really sit with your heart and with your soul. And the way you know that your passion is your passion is it's this inwelling within your heart, within your soul that carries you. It takes you. It has a hold of you rather than you holding it or trying to find it. And it's something that is so profoundly deep within you that you cannot not do it. It's like breathing. You obviously can't not breathe unless you want to leave this earth. I remember once hearing an um, interview with Barbara Streisand in which she talked about singing and she, her essence in her video or her interview was so strong in her passion. She said, you know, I can't not not sing. It would be like the death to me. Paraphrasing her words, but this is what she was saying. It's her life. It's her breath. For me, my life purpose, my soul purpose, my passion is being the princess, being, being the light worker, the princess of the sea, the sea of love, which helps awaken everybody to love into who they really are. That's my passion. That's what has me want to get up every day and say, oh my God, this is a beautiful day. Even amongst some of the most horrible things that have gone on in my life, which many of you know have happened recently in my life, even amidst all that, still has me want to wake up in the morning and say, oh, who's come to me today? What's happening today? What crisis is somebody freaking out about today that I can be that wisdom and that source of calmness and centeredness and love to help uplift them and encourage them into who they really are, which brings me into who I really am and being that love. That's my passion. That's my purpose. And from it, abundance flows in infinite ways. 
And so these are practical things that while, yes, we cannot necessarily right now, this moment, get rid of the money system, although ideally, if everyone on this earth right now collectively in their heart center came into harmonic resonance, heart coherence, that we were no longer going to have a monetary system, every seven, one of seven billion people did that in one moment, we would be rid of the money system. But the key right now is in practical terms, follow your bliss. Joseph Campbell said that, and he was right. Now, following your bliss isn't about, well, oh, I can just do whatever I want, and that's what freedom is. Now, freedom is not about doing whatever you want. That's egoic freedom. Freedom of the heart, true freedom, is about doing what is best for humanity, for the benefit of all, which includes you, yes, but is not to the exclusion of you. Living and being your passion is not about just doing a job so that you can get money, so that you can get the latest gadgets, like the latest iPhone or the latest car. That's ego stuff. Living and being from the heart and benefit for all in that passion, that bliss. As I said in my last video, whether that's being a truck driver or a bus driver in the example that I gave, could be a garbage collector even. Whatever your passion is. And as we join our hearts together in heart coherence, living and being our bliss together, that's when we give to each other just to give. You all have heard me talk about this um, on videos before, and I've done meditational satsangs on it. And so I invite you to YouTube it right now. It's a video called You Are Here For A Reason, and it's by Life Fest. And I'll leave the link as well in the video description. That video, I love that video. Why? Because that's what the awakening is all about. That's what true freedom is all about. That's what true giving is all about. Heart to heart, soul to soul. And then it infinitely just comes back to you because the universe is the give, give universe. We often talk about it is within giving that we receive. What that really means is, is that as you give and you give from your heart, then the universe gives back to you. Not because the universe is obligated to, but simply because that's how the universe works. That's the higher law, the law of love. So these are practical steps that you can do right now. And as you live and be your purpose, then yes, you will have the funds available financially to be able to pay the rent or the mortgage. Now, ultimately, within there being this world, we are stewards of the land. And whatever land that we live on is free from belonging to us it belongs to the universe, belongs to earth, and we are just the caretakers of it, the stewards of the land. And ultimately, we shouldn't have to pay a mortgage or rent. This is very true. Because it is our God-given birthright, the birthright that the universe gave us because we were simply born here, because we were simply here for the universe. So we are free from owning anything, nor should we have anyone who makes us pay for anything, food or shelter, any of our basic necessities. That's the ideal world. But the bridge to that ideal world is to start living in your purpose. And then the abundance will come to you and the resources will come to you for you to be able to feed your family and have shelter. And it comes in infinite ways. Many times last year, I was going through a financial struggle, as it were. 
were even within being my passion. I was just barely living. And I kind of went down that route going, oh my God, okay, how am I going to get the money for food this month? And then all of a sudden, my friend, he showed up with an abundance of food from his garden and said, here. I didn't ask him for it. I wasn't complaining to him about it. He just came and he offered it from his heart. Because I was being that vibrational match to abundance and putting it out into the universe. Hey, universe, <laughs> could use some help here. And thanks in abundance. I appreciate whatever you can provide. As I was continuing to give of myself already as well. In money and time. And then it came forth. Or just recently, I took what little money that I had and I gave it. And then within an hour, I had someone write to me and give me a love offering for a session, a mentoring session. So it comes back immediately as soon as you give. So these are practical steps of things that we can do to be that bridge into the there's a world where love for each other is while things are done. Our greatest power, though, the greatest source of free energy, we talk about going off grid. Our greatest source of free energy is right here. It's our heart. It's following our heart, following our intuition. And you've heard me talk about this many times. And I have an interview and an article about it. I'll leave the links for those here in the video description. I did an interview about following the heart and what, what the heart resonance is about. Following that intuition. I did that September last year. So I'll leave that link. And the article that went with it. That I wrote. And I've been saying this for years. This is just another loving reminder of practical solutions of how we can be free now. So that deep resonance of free energy, the free energy is in the heart. When we come into heart coherence within ourselves, we have the power to change our world and the world around us and the world. And when collectively we come together in heart coherence, you know, Heart Math Institute is been doing studies about this. Dan Winters has been doing work on this for many years. When we come into heart coherence together as a collective, that's where the free energy is because we're taking in the energy of chi, prana, source energy coming through us. And that's actually what amplifies the world. That's what actually can light up our electricity. Is the human heart. The soul heart. As one. And I'll give you just a small example of this for you to think about. You know, when I was a child, and I used to love doing this, when I would listen to the radio, you know, sometimes when the, the station is just a little off and it's really not quite in you can't really quite hear it it's kind of fuzzy and I used to go over to the antenna put my hand on it being that electrical charge that antenna what happens radio station got clear move your hand went back to being fuzzy put your hand on it why because we are crystalline energy it is said we're made of between 70 to 90 percent water Water and sea salt is who we are. That's why when we cut ourselves and we bleed, our blood tastes of salt. Water and sea salt are crystalline energy. We are crystals. To the power of the human heart, the soul heart, being in resonance and coherence, har har harmony, vibrational match, vibrational resonance. When you are in that coherence, and see, I spell coherence a little different. I spell it C-O-H-E-A-R-A-N-C-E. -E. Because when you are in coherence, you really hear. 
you hear the heart. It's not hearing with these ears. It's hearing beyond the words, beyond the vibration of words spoken and into the vibration of energy, the vibration of the soul. It's something you just, you just feel. That's where our true free energy really is. That's what if we harness that and come together as a collective and can harness that free energy. Because see, when we use solar power, and, and this is again, it's a bridge, free energy of solar power and wind power and, and you know, um, all of these different types of free energy that's out there, magnetic energy, all of these types of things are wonderful. However, they deplete our Mother Earth in another way. We're using fossil fuel, fuels right now to deplete the Earth. We're raping the lands by doing that, and we're raping the seas by doing that. We're raping the lands with GMO foods and other pesticides and things of that nature. But many people do not understand that in the free energy circle, we think environmentally friendly and everything else is wonderful, and it is, but it's only a bridge. Because that energy is pulling energy still from the earth, and that's still raping our land. That's still raping Princess Gaia, Mother Gaia. The true free energy that we can harness from source is from source. <laughs> It's the cosmic energy. It's the soul of who we are encased in this physical form. And that resides most strongly in the human heart. Because the human heart is the soul heart. So these are practical steps that you can take right now to be free. Now, will we be ever free in the truest of sense of there's a world where there's no money, where there's no government, where there's no um, enslavements, where there's no jobs that we have to go to every day? Maybe or maybe not. In the wise words of Imagine from John Lennon, imagine a world. There is that world. And maybe in our lifetime, it will happen. In the meantime, we have practical steps of freedom that we can be right now. I invite you to take those steps. I love you. Go forth and create an amazing life and touch the many people in this world. Because this is why you are here. You are here for a reason. And that reason is love. Open your heart to love and be who you really are. Espada.